while the troops camped here at night, they performed what is called a Khon Tawan ceremony. A Khon Tawan ritual is a Brahmanic ritual which is designed to protect warriors before battle. They performed this ceremony all night and then the next day they went to the Burmese border or uh, went towards the Burmese border to fight the Burmese. When they approached the battlefield, the place where they thought the Burmese armies were, the Burmese army was not there. And so they didn't have to fight. Um, the Burmese never made it much farther into Siamese territory after this date anyway, and this was considered a very auspicious event. So Prince Jaitsara returned to Wat uh, John Tong, as it used to be called, and it was renamed Wat Racha Oro, or the temple named after the king's son. Uh, because uh, Prince Jay said I was King Rama II's son. And when he became Rama III, the king, he uh, rebuilt the temple and had it redesigned and refashioned and added new buildings, and especially in a mixture of Chinese and Thai styles. And this is one of the most unique examples of architecture in the whole country. And during this video, we'll see many examples of this mixture of Thai-Chinese art. And the reason being is that one, Rama III was a big fan of this art, but second of all, there was many Chinese workers who worked in the canals, clearing the canals in this neighborhood and helped fix the temple and paint the murals and add the architectural styles.